made it on the bus just in time. This is the Ohayami bus line. We're taking this to Lagawe, heading to the festival. See you guys in the morning. This is an overnight bus ride. It's 10.30 p.m. right now. See you in the morning. So do not I have a meet some river that is a event. It's like 6 a.m. right now. But apparently we need to be going to Banao instead of Lagawe, so we're yeah, hopping on another bus. We've got one hour to go, Banao, and then from there, then we're gonna go to the festival, Bunok Festival. I don't know anything about what's gonna happen. I don't know anything about the festival. Because it's just lang siya. I heard it's pretty interesting. The festival. Kuya, alam mo yung Bunok Festival ay? Tita Garita, patagaro na kama. Ano mag? Renta na lang kayo ng trade. Oo nga Register kayo dito, kuya. First things first, drinking some coffee. Then we're taking a tricycle down to where the festival is going on. Okay, here we go. So we have about uh, 45 minutes. Tricycle ride going down. That's how you feel gas here in the mountains. The mountains of Benguet. That's how you feel gas up here in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Hundigua, Hunduan. We're in Hunduan, we just have to sign the tourist papers. Yay, we made it yeah. just in time. Oh my gosh, wearing this again. Okay, got our costumes on. I'm gonna head down and check it out, see what this festival is all about. <laughs> At this point, we saw three groups of people coming down separately from the rice terraces. We found out there were three different villages, Hapao, Baang, and Nongulunan. And they were all making their way down to where the rivers meet to celebrate the Punuk festival, which is a celebration of the end of the harvest. Hi! <laughs> When we got down to where the rivers meet, we could see the three different villages coming down from the terraces, so we waited there for them to come down. As each village arrived, they would cheer and shout and do their own little chant. Then the games begun. They started with a tug of war tournament. Instead of using a rope, each village brought their own tree branch and would hook it onto each other's tree branches, and that's what they would use as their tug of war instead of a rope. They had the men do tug of war, then the women, and then also the children. Here we are in the middle of it. Oh, they're 
about to start. They're about to start. Training, gotta protect my stuff. They also did some wrestling and a game who could hold their breath the longest. The reason why they have the Punok Festival is to celebrate the end of harvest of the year. And they celebrate this every year. After all the games, they fed every single person that was there, even the visitors. This punuk is an activity here in Hongduan that it will occur every year. Now it was started by our forefathers before. And to them that is very important because uh, this punuk is the last event after the harvest period. After this game, as enjoyable game for them, then uh, that's time for relaxation to them. A few weeks again, they start to plant again or prepare the seed bed. And the very purpose of this is to promote culture for the younger generation not to forget this uh, one among the culture of Hongduan. Thank you very much. <laughs> Making a stop here. There's some waterfall. Side trip. Side trip. Tubak Waterfalls. Tubak Waterfalls. Welcome to Abatan Hong Abatan Hongduan Waterfalls. Tubak you shower in the wild. So yesterday after the festival we ended up making our way to Baguio where Atewami has her cafe here. So now we're at her cafe. We just stayed overnight. It's nice to have cafe and the cake of Atewami here because it's unlimited. You know, this is all the cake. This is all the cake. When you're dining, it's unlimited. It's unlimited.